And then our very final presentation of today is uh, it's an interesting one because now we've heard a lot about the local capacity building side. We've heard about the vision of long-term capacity building. We want to give you a very concrete example of one use case, a school report card, and it is a use case from the Gambia. But what's interesting about it is that we are, it's a really real-time example of implementation, research, and software development. So I think I'd like to welcome CD again to the stage, and then Monica and uh, Jerry will, will join him because it's a, a three team. <laughs> so thanks, CD. Um, uh, hello again. <laughs> um, I, I, like we said at the beginning, the, the Gambia had since 2013, uh, since 2019, we really wanted to leverage the platform as best as we could to see how the platform could be used on various use cases to see if it can help, um, um, like Kunud we said, um, bring up, um, digitize the low hanging fruit that we can, you know, um, help the sector with, as well as um, as we are carrying ahead with our digitization efforts. So the main purpose of this presentation is just to use the Gambia School Report Card as a case, but the main subject of this is to try to connect the research that um, we've just talked about from um, the reflections um, that the Sri, Sri, Sri Lankan team have had and the discussions that Pamod have discussed here recently to try to see how research have informed the development of a very important tool. In, and the tool, apart from the research, it is a tool that is the most important thing that we need to you know, um, consider here. Then from there, how that informed the implementation and what we have been doing in the Gambia in the form of the report card. So first, we are going to um, talk a little bit a background of um, the school report card and how it came to the Gambia and then f how ideas from the Gambia you know, led to the creation of a very important tool and how this tool was then expanded to take in more use cases and we will see some of those use cases, how this tool has been expanded and then how that has been used to implement and solve the problems that we have in the Gambia. One that was very difficult for DHIS2 to solve for the Gambia by design. So, what is the school report card? The school report card is, um, is a, um, a community engagement tool and it's a very, it has a very simple purpose. It's to look at the performance of the school by, um, that is how it performs in the exams of the students. It looks at the resources that it has and then tries to compute how efficient the school was in, in, in using those resources. If the school has a lot of resources, for example, qualified teachers, and have very poor results, then we can say that school has a very, very poor efficiency. But if the school has um, low quality, um, let's say, for example, not enough books, and not all the, all the resources are also not available or mostly lacking, and they do very well in terms of student exams, then we say those kind of schools are high efficient, highly efficient schools. So we usually use, do this to inform our funding mechanisms because the ministry in the Gambia, we also have free education, and we used to give funds to the schools, and we needed these schools to justify how they need to send the funds. And through that scenario, the school report card would inform that. We would produce the school report card. We will give it to the schools. The schools will sit around the report card with the parents and teachers, and they will discuss what are the problems of the school. Then they would recommend um, some uh, actions to be taken, 
and it is those actions that are then put into the school's improvement plan. And if you don't have that school improvement plan with concrete actions, the government or the ministry will not give you the grant to, to, um, to spend on the school. So when we wanted to do that, we faced a lot of problems. And um, the first thing that we did was to invite um, our expertise, uh, people from um, his West and Central Africa and the other partners in the other his groups and also master students to come and look at the situation and try to understand what was the problem. Then along the way we realized that um, we had a digitization problem first because we as a ministry we looked at it and then said wow um, this school report card is not being produced on time. We, maybe we need to you know digitize it to improve the performance. We brought in a, a couple of students and the students looked into the report card and they researched as well as us and they later realized that, oh, okay, the report card, yes, it's not digitized and that is part of the problem, but we have a bigger problem. And that bigger problem is the teachers and the parents themselves don't understand what the report card is saying. And then we are like, okay, then we also put another batch of students on, onto this and they also looked at the report card and I'm like, okay, yes, the parents and students, they have, uh, and the teachers, they have this problem in, in, uh, in understanding what the school report card is. So we need to um, make this sort of changes. And because of that, we went to um, a requirement was designed on what kind of tool or what kind of presentation was needed to solve the digitizing problem and also solve the presentation problem. And that is one product that came out from this. And that product is, um, um, the report builder that uh, my colleague Jerry will talk about soon. And that report builder is what is used to design the interface exactly as you are seeing in the original document. So this is the paper document that you are seeing on the right, which is then replicated during these meetings and used to discuss the school's performance. And this is what is exactly done on the platform with the use of this tool. So with that as a background, um, I will invite Jerry to come and tell us about exactly um, what the report builder is and what are its features. Thanks, CD. So what happened here, um, yeah. So what happened here is that um, there was a need to make a lot of changes on the report builder, um, sorry, on the school report card. But the first app that was developed was not quite generic. So if you wanted to make some changes, it would have been a bit challenging. So based on all those information we've got from the research, we actually built an app to actually make it easier to make changes to the report. And that, bring, uh, that brought us to create or build an app that is called a report builder. So, it's just a simple uh, app that you can use to build any type of report. So the first uh, thing we did was to use that for the school report card. So it was actually being able to generate report based on data. You have the possibility to create your own design. You have the possibility to add your own labels, your own values, uh, your own colors, and then you could actually print it in PDF, for instance. So, uh, yeah, next. Yeah, so this is what we have now. So the report builder is an app like, like this, whereby you could have the possibility to see the report and print it in PDF. Then you have the design part, whereby we can actually design this. So you can just copy a Word document and come and paste it uh, in the design module and then populate it with data. Now you have the possibility, if you see here, uh, they, do you have a lot of symbols, like the, the green symbol or the cross? Those are images that are representing values. But we actually created the app in such a way that you can say, from this range to this range is this icon we need to have. From this range to this range of value, the, this color you're going to have. But then we were thinking of making something quite I mean, more generic. Uh, so it brought us to use this, this same application for other things. Because the way it was made generic has made, helped us create other things. So for instance, 
we're able to create um, a student card with it. So remember, CD showed uh, in the previous presentation about the ME shift, a student card. So the student card actually came from the app that we built. So you can actually create your student card based on that and print it, for instance. Then we had another way of dealing, using the same app. So meaning we wanted the app became, the aim of the app was first to tackle the problem related to school report card, but it became useful for other things as well, okay? And the other one is actually building a school report for the learner. So remember, for instance, for the semis, you're able to get, uh, for the semis app, you actually get the, the marks there, all the information from the semis app, and this information can be used in this uh, report builder to build a report for the learners and print out that report. So for instance, we started with a school report card that we have here, but now you can have a student card and you can have a, a school report form for the learners. And uh, the app has been used in other domains as well. So uh, with that, I'm going to pass the microphone to Monica. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Jerry. And um, yeah, yes. So once all the cooking and uh, mixing the spices was done in the Gambia and his West Africa, uh, Uganda was able now to also share on this um, great innovation. And I think it goes back to what Pamud was saying that um, part of our ethos as the HISP community is sharing. So sharing is caring. So learning from the Gambia, and this has been really through the exchange programs. Um, our team has visited Gambia. Gambia has come to learn from us in Uganda. So we've really had very good um, platforms where we've exchanged and learned from each other. So this was uh, one of the innovations they shared with us and we got very good, um, we had interest in it. Why? Because like I had earlier said yesterday, in Uganda, most of our data has been centralized at the, at the ministry level. They collect data from schools and take it to the ministry. It's analyzed. It comes back as a, as a statistical yearbook. But having a school report card as kind of feedback to the school was very, very powerful for the schools. They were really excited that, you know, for the first time, the ministry cared about them, that it was sharing the data that they were generating with them. And so this data was really not, um, it was focusing on key indicators that are relevant at the school level. I think um, CD in uh, CD's previous uh, presentation, he also showed the hierarchy and data flow. Some data may only be relevant for international reporting and not at the school level. But at the school level, we're able now to, to highlight the key indicators that were really relevant for them to improve the management of their school. Uh, for example, attendance, attendance data, so they would be able to see which learners were present, which learners were absent, and what can we do about this data. So with that, um, it has enabled engagement of the school with the parents, the community. So um, with this school report card highlighting key indicators, at least the school is now able to talk uh, to the parents and encourage them to be part of the learning process of their children uh, using this data. So what we did still under the research program, we had some master's students coming to Uganda and they picked the Gambia uh, generic report card and customized it or tailored it to the Ugandan context. Whereas, of course, the Gambia had maybe uh, other 
features that were representing these uh, different indicators. In Uganda, when we tested out the school report card, uh, some schools wanted a thumbs up to mean that you're doing well, a uh, thumbs down means that you're not performing well. Others liked the smileys. So we had actually like the smileys and also showing progress from one term to, to the second term. Are you declining or are you improving? Then uh, the final design actually combines the progress from term one to term two, and also the smile is on how you're either doing on specific indicators, whether you're doing well, whether you're not improving, or whether you're really not doing, uh, whether you're not doing well. And then the other thing that came up, of course, as we were designing this, was the resources that are available at school level. So you find that, of course, most schools don't even have printers, or if they are going to report this, uh, to print this school report card, most likely they are going to print it in black and white. So we needed to understand the context and now design smileys that when printed in uh, black and white, they are easily uh, legible. So that is how we came up with, um, with our school report card, and it has really, really and uh, enable the engagement of the school and the community. Yeah, thank you.